yeah, the question is like, knowing what I know now, would I go back and do it all over again? Life's all about sacrifices and I have sacrificed my body. And I took wicked slams and I've been in a lot of hospitals and dealing with injuries and whatnot, but it's like with injuries, I always felt like, like you can either let the injury take something from you or you can take something from the injury. I've learned so much, whether it's like, you know, getting through those low points and those deep lows make the highest highs feel that much better. You're constantly ebbing and flowing and learning and transitioning and it's the places in between definitely where you learn the most. Grew up in the woods, yeah. Just charging in the woods ever since I can remember. My dad was a carpenter. My mom had a floral business and a little nursery. And I grew up just watching them work their asses off. I started at Bolton. I was 12 years old. I got signed up with uh, Mount Mansfield Snowboard Club. And that was kind of where I realized, like I started doing well in local, like regional contests. And I was like, well, maybe I could do something with this. The kind of catalyst for me was winning the US Open in Stratton, Vermont, when I was, I was 17 at that point. And that was a 20 grand cash purse. That's when we realized like, there's only so long, you can stay in Vermont before you gotta head west. My dad ended up selling me his brand new Toyota Tacoma. And then that summer out of Mount Hood, there was the Abominable Snow Jam contest and I got best trick out at that. And so that was another five grand and that bought me my sled. And so that was my kit. there's no longevity for me in contests. And so I had my truck, I had my sled, and I got in with a good film crew, Defective Films with Sean Johnson, filming for Derelictica. I learned a lot those first couple years. And that third year I was in Tahoe, I started spending more time up in the Northwest. And I just got a taste for the Northwest and Mount Baker. I was like, dude, this is where I wanna be.
Yes, yeah, so Mason, he's my nephew, he's my sister's son, and I've known him his whole life. I'm really proud just because I taught him how to snowboard, you know, like he was just a little grom. And now to see what he's been able to do and how strong and hungry and motivated he is, it's been really great to have him out in the backcountry because oftentimes I'll just walk by stuff and be like, no, that's too flat or whatever. And Mason will just go huge and stomp it. And I think what Mason has going for him is he's so strong. He can take the bales and be able to walk away and try it again the next day, you know? Whereas if you're not strong and you bail, you get snapped in half and you're done for the season. Like you don't think about it when you're younger, like how much of a toll it takes on your body because you feel good, you know? You might be a little sore after, but overall you're fine, you know? Any little pain or soreness I had back then is nothing compared to what I feel today. been doing it hard for 20 years and so I'm definitely feeling things start to catch up definitely not all of them but off the top of my head I, like I've had uh, two shoulder surgeries from shoulder dislocations I've had uh, cracked ribs before uh, broken collarbone broken legs concussions those are the main ones and now I'm dealing with hip impingement, or basically it's arthritis. Let's see, where am I at? I guess like right now, it's like every step I take, I can feel my hip. It's not gonna get better at this point. Last resort is surgery, and especially like a hip replacement is kind of crazy. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been able to go on like a hike with my kids in two years. I feel like Nell, my five-year-old, can outrun me now. <laughs> you know, like, it's crazy, it, it sucks. I got a cortisone shot. I've been doing those for the past three winters, and that normally gets me through the winter, but this third shot this winter, it's not doing the same. Cortisone eventually just stops working. It's not good for you too, you know? I'm not like proud that I'm taking cortisone shots to get through the winter, but at the same time, like I wanna ride. I love riding. And you and I, I mean, we can keep doing this as long as you want. I mean, I think the harm factor is low. It's just that the, the quality of life factor right, is gonna continue to deteriorate slightly. Like, yeah, it's not even so much just taking away from snowboarding now, it's really taking away from quality right. of the light. So I think you just gotta bite the ball and do it. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. Okay. I wish I had a better option for you. No, yeah, that's all right. I was really nervous going into surgery, but we had a really great team of doctors and Literally, like it was an hour long surgery. I woke up and that night I was already walking. It's pretty wild. So it's been three months now, a little over three months and I'm green light, good to go. It's like now I can chase after the kids again. You know, like now I'm faster than my five-year-old daughter again. You know, like I can beat her in a foot race. It just feels like my old body, it's crazy. I think I'll be able to charge next winter. Like I'm really fired up to ride again. I mean, I think like my role as a snowboarder is transitioning right now. I look at my role within snowboarding as a more of a mentor now to Mason and the younger generation. It's always good to try and be able to give back wherever you are in your career. Now, it's like where I can give back is being able to mentor, and then also being able to use the platform that I've been able to develop over the years in order to promote Lavelle's Banks and try and raise money for our community 
We're hoping to raise enough money for a skate park in Waterbury. And just always trying to find ways to give back to the community that's given me so much over the year. I hope that that's another thing that I can give back to the snowboard community is just better product. Through snowboard development with Ride and now I'm starting to develop boots with them and the bindings, uh, outerwear with North Face and the goggles with Smith. I really do like to help develop better product. Like it, it helps me ride better and I hope that it helps other people ride better too. I want to keep snowboarding super hard. It's what I love to do, it's what I'm good at, and now that I have a new hip, I'm really excited to get back on my board. It is, it's really exciting to feel solid again. Just to feel like maybe I'm not quite done. It's like, yeah, I got hurt, but whatever. Like, I'm gonna get back on my board and I'm gonna be stronger and better when it's all said and done. Life is crazy, I've got a lot on the plate, but I'm excited to like give it another go. See what happens, you know?